What's up guys, it's Alex or Aussie Gamer Chick here and today I have some Evolve news for you guys. Now just quickly before we jump into this video, if you guys do go and enjoy this, I'd love it if you hit that like button and if your Twitter and your YouTube is connected and your like ends up on my Twitter feed, like this one here, Twitter feed I should say, I'm going to be following a few of you guys on Twitter, so yeah. Alright, let's jump into this video. So as you guys may or may not know, there is an Evolve Alpha happening this weekend. So for those of you that don't know, you can get access to this Alpha by pre-ordering it from participating retail stores and I will have a link to the Evolve Alpha um, website so you can have a look at your country and see what retail stores are participating in this. Now you're going to have to want to get in pretty quickly as it is this weekend that it's happening. So today I want to give you guys some information on what we know so far on Evolve and what we can expect in the Alpha. So on the full release of the game, there will be 12 hunters and there's going to be three monsters. Now there is going to be a fourth monster, but I believe that fourth monster is only going to be available to um, some participating retail stores that you can pre-order off. So I don't believe everyone's going to get this fourth um, monster, but it's sort of like a pre-order bonus. Now for the alpha this weekend, we're actually going to get access to everything that we know so far. So what I mean by this is we're actually going to be able to play on the three maps that they have announced so far. We're also going to be able to play as the two out of three monsters that they have announced. So that is Goliath and Kraken. And we're also going to be able to play um, eight. Eight. That's eight. That's ten. That's eight. We're going to be play out of... Ah, I cannot speak today. We're going to be able to play eight of the twelve hunters. So for the hunters, there is going to be four classes that we can choose from. There's going to be Assault, Trapper... Um, medic and support. So for each of those classes we're going to have two hunters that we can pick from as there has been only two announced for each class therefore you know making up the total of eight that we have learned of so far. So for the monster and all the classes of the hunters we have two characters to pick from but we're not going to have access to them straight away. So this is where I want to talk to you guys about the progression system that we've recently learned about. So the player progression in uh, Evolve is going to be similar to Call of Duty, how you can rank up your character or your player yourself, um, and I believe it goes up to rank 40, and each rank and so on, you get special abilities and perks that you get to choose, and it's sort of similar to COD in that way. Now in regards to the perks, we are only allowed to pick one perk for each game, so that's going to be very interesting. And the perks, you know, sort of range from reload speed to jetpack regeneration to, uh, you know, uh, weapon swapping faster, all that sort of stuff. There's going to be a whole heap, and I will have a link to, in the description, to an article sort of giving you a list of some of the perks that we know so far, but the, I'm guessing there's going to be plenty more announced when the, once the game is released, or maybe a little bit earlier on. But but this player progression is not how you unlock characters. Character progression is actually how you unlock characters. So like I mentioned uh, before with the classes with the hunters, if you want to um, play as a certain character in a certain class, you're going to have to rank up that class, I'm going to say. So let's say you want to play as Griffin in the Trapper class. So the starting character for the Trapper class is actually Maggie, so you're going to have to rank Maggie up before you unlock um, Griffin or, you know, so on and other characters that get announced later on. So you only have to unlock one star for Maggie, so it's not like you have to fully um, rank her up, you just have to earn one star for her and then the next character gets unlocked and you can, you know, earn one star on that character and the next one will get unlocked. They say they're doing this so you get a feel for all the characters, all the classes, and then you can go back and master all the skills and the abilities for that class if you wish. So I think this progression system is very interesting. I'd love to know your thoughts on this progression system, the sort of different ways of ranking up uh, versus unlocking characters. I'd also like to know who of you guys have signed up for the uh, Evolve Alpha. Um, comment below and what system you're going to be playing on. I will hopefully be playing on the, on the Xbox One. So hopefully I'll be able to see you guys on the Xbox One and maybe we can party up and play some games together. I think that would be awesome. Um, but yeah, comment below on where, if you guys are planning on playing the game and what console you guys are going to be playing it on. Or platform, I should say. PC is included as well. But yeah, like I mentioned before, there are going to be links in the description to various articles and the Evolve Alpha sort of registration page if you guys want to go check out some more information on Evolve and on Evolve Alpha. But that's it from me today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like I mentioned, hit that like button. That would mean the world to me. And if you're new and you liked this video, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button and you can join this awesome family. We have nearly got 10 
thousand of you guys here and I am so stoked. So thank you guys so much for that. And I will see you guys next time. All right, bye.